We want to bring to you right off the top of this newscast. We've learned that a Lafayette police officer has been shot on North 9th Street between Union and Salem. Now, News 18's uh, Kier, uh, excuse me, Samantha Tiki got on the scene uh, just moments ago. This came in at 10:58 this morning. Sam, what have you learned? Uh, have, have you learned any new information since then? Trevor, they're not really releasing any much more information than what we know already, but right now they did tell me that they're not looking for anyone and they don't have anyone in police custody. Now I'm going to step out of the way so our photographer can zoom in. This is where we think it happened. You can see the crime scene tape. We've also seen officers coming in and out of this home quite often. Looks like they're doing some sort of investigation. What we do know is that an officer was shot and taken to the hospital. I spoke with Lafayette Sergeant Matt Gard. He says at this time he doesn't know if the officer's injuries are life threatening, but they do say that there is no danger to the public at this point in time, and they're asking people to avoid the area of 9th Street between Salem and Union Street. Now, we're going to continue to be out here covering this and updating you with the latest information on it on our website, WLFI.com, and tonight on News 18 at 5 and 6. For now, reporting live in Lafayette, Samantha Tiki, News 18. Okay, Sam, thank you so much. Let's recap what we just learned. Um, around 1058, Lafayette police sent out a nixle about uh, that to avoid the area of 9th Street between Union and Salem. They did not say an officer was shot. We made calls and learned that an officer was shot. Again, the officer was taken to the hospital. We're unsure of their condition. Police ask you to avoid the area. They are not looking for anyone, and no one is in custody. These are the words of Sergeant Matt Gard. Uh, we learned that on the scene. And uh, Samantha Tiki will stay out there and try to learn more information. We'll have updates all throughout the day and also on WLFI.com as we.